So uh, I'm curious to know, how did this film begin in your head? What was the first idea you had of, of, of this story? Um, probably just a general obsession with death and love <laughs> um, and time, probably more than more than anything, thinking a lot about time. Um, you know, there, there were all those end of the world movies in the late '90s that were, were coming out, and I remember going to see Deep Impact, and, and I didn't really feel much until Tay Leone was standing on the beach with her father, and then I was like, kill me. So, um, so that stayed with me for a long time, and. Um, and then when 9-11 happened, I had moved from New York to L.A. a week before it, um, and I didn't know anybody out there. And um, So when it happened, I was so desperate for a human contact. I was calling up old friends. I might have tried to find an ex-boyfriend. Um, and um, yeah, so that just stayed with me, that this sort of cataclysmic global event could have this effect on you know just my tiny self and, and my relationships with people. And then when Nick and Norris was coming out, I just I thought it would be so fun to uh, to do the opposite of that. You know, the, the kid, the word infinite is in the title of that film. I, and I thought, well, let's make a love story finite <laughs> and um, and just see what happens to people when you when you take forever off the table and give them the loudest ticking clock. You know, that you can think of. So, uh, 13 years ago, you were walking around this campus as a student, uh, uh, more or less. At that time, were, were, did you know where you were headed? To, I mean, did you know that you wanted to be writing screenplays, directing films? Yes, my major being English with creative writing. My my, um, my minor was theater. Um, I started here at the BFA acting program, so I was always into film and, and theater and writing and all, all the rest. As you look, talk to you know younger people who want to take that path. What are the what's the advice you give them? Like, what are the things that they should um, do? I honestly think just work harder than everybody else. I think that to, to keep writing, to not get discouraged, and to realize that some scripts may not be made into films, but they can become excellent samples of, of your writing. And if if you can um, just find your voice, the studying film is, is, is just as important. So I'm glad you're here in the film program at Montclair State University. <laughs> We hope this is the beginning of a beautiful Thank relationship. You. Thank you.